it's your boy Damien Cryer and I'm back with another video. So today, man, I am actually eating six steak tacos. Uh, these have the steak, the onion, cilantro, and all of the trimmings on them. So this is what they look like. See those? Yep. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful and blessed Saturday. By the way, happy 4th of July to you guys, man. So this is my first 4th of July in Houston, Texas. Remember, I moved here last July, but it was the end of July. So I am approaching my first year in Texas. I still don't know what I'm gonna do exactly today for the 4th of July. Um, I do have company. One of my son's friends stayed the night last night. And as you guys know, they were up till five or six o'clock in the morning playing that darn Xbox game. So anyway, I'm gonna do my grace real quick and then we'll start. Thank you, Lord, for the school I'm about to receive. Thank you, Lord, for watching over my household, keeping me safe, keeping my family safe, watching over my loved ones and their loved ones. I pray that you continue to bless me in every area of my life, Lord, even at my weakest moments. In the name of Jesus, amen. So this right here, these little bags, that's what they put the sauces in. Uh, this is the green sauce. This is the mildest one that they have. And it's actually not really that mild, but it's the mildest one they have. Again, this is Texas. Oh, shoot. You guys see that? Sauce is squirted all over me. So, so I asked for mild and they gave me mild, but I tasted these tacos recently about a week ago and they actually are really, really good. But this sauce is not as, as mild as they say it is. But again, this is Texas. And I guess when you ask for mild, it's actually gonna still be hot. Mm. Normally when I get the steak tacos from the restaurants, I usually get like the regular raw onions. But on these right here, these right here, I actually got grilled onions on this. So the restaurant wasn't extremely busy this early. So I was able to get them grilled. Normally it's hard to get them grilled because they have so many people standing in line waiting to order. Mm. Someone asked me, well, a lot of people ask me that will I be moving back to Indiana? Because when I first moved to Texas, if you guys remember, I had did a story time video on my channel. Mmm. This mild sauce is kind of hot, hot. Ooh. They are kind of good. That, that sauce is hot. Okay, Woo, we're back. I did a story time last year around this time on my channel when I first moved out here. Mm. Mm. And I was talking about, I didn't know if I was actually going to live in Houston. I can give it a try for six months. At the time when I moved here, I think the least we had was six month lease.
and I was still kind of up in the air as far as if I wanted to stay in Houston or I was gonna give it six months and then move back to Indiana. But I can also honestly tell you guys, despite what I went through since I've been in Texas, I had a couple ups and downs. I think Texas is gonna be home for me. The reason being is because I gave Indiana, well, I'm 50 years old now. I moved here when I was 49. So I gave Indiana roughly 48 and a half years of my life. And it's like, I love Indiana, I love where I'm from, but it's like you do the same thing. Like you guys know, I was recently in Indiana. Mm. And it's like, when I was there, I didn't even want to even be around nobody. I pretty much ordered food, stayed at my hotel, stayed away from everybody. It's like things are different now for me. I don't look at things the same anymore. I don't look at certain people the same anymore. So when I go home now, it's like, I don't know. It's like, I don't wanna move back there. I don't know if any of you guys watching this video has ever moved to a different state. And then when you went to the different state, you were nervous when you first got there and like, mm, I don't like it here. And then move back home. But then when you move back home, you 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 tell yourself, man, I should have stayed there. They have this, they have that, they have this, they have that. Since I've been here a year, I've actually just some moving around to different places, going out to explore different things. For instance, like the beach. When I live in Indiana, we had to plan a vacation trip once a year. Well, one year to go to the beach. We went to Myrtle Beach, and which is in is it South Carolina. Myrtle Beach is in South Carolina. So we planned a vacation. We drove all the way out there, we got a condo for five days, and we got to see the beach and do all kind of stuff. So it's like now in Texas, Houston, I don't have to plan a vacation to go to the beach. I just get in my car, I drive the 47, 48 minutes to the beach, and boom, I'm there. So it's like, now I'm around the beach area, now I see how it is. You really don't want to go every single day because you'll wear it out. So a lot of stuff like circuses. We have circuses in, in Indiana once a year. Carnivals, festivals, stuff like that. Here in Texas, it's an everyday occurrence. You can literally ride down the street and run right into a carnival or something. Or a Ferris wheel. Matter of fact, even at the beach here in Texas, Right next to the beach, there's an amusement park that has a big Ferris wheel. It stands out like a sore thumb. When you ride down the street, going to Galveston, to the beach area, you can actually see the Ferris wheel from the distance. It's pretty amazing. So it was like, and then it's not just that. It's like, when you're around your friends and stuff back home, it's like everybody's not growing apart. It's like everybody's not growing apart. Everybody done grew up. People that got married, people that moved on their own. A lot of friends that moved to different states. And then it's like things has, has just really changed. So for me, it's like I had wanted to move back home, but now I done been back to Indiana so many times since I lived in Houston. And I see the same people when I go there. They're doing the same exact same thing. They're talking about the same exact stuff. I mean, literally the same exact stuff. It's like, this is probably gonna be my life right here. And then, I 
It's like I have more of a reason to stay now. You know, versus just coming down, you know, being around my kids and stuff like that. Now that I have a more reason to stay in Houston, being that I have short ones, little ones on the way. Um, so it's like, I don't want the long distance relationship when it comes to my kids. Even though Darian will be back in Indiana, you know, he's 12, going on 13. So it won't be as hard for him, him seeing me every couple weeks versus newborn kids or something like that seeing me every couple weeks. Mm. So, mm -mm. to answer that question I was asked while we moved back to Indiana is no. I remember when I moved to Houston, Texas, I couldn't wait to go back to Indiana to visit. So when I got back to Indiana the very first time, I was so excited. I'm like, yes, I'm home. After two days, I'm like, I'm ready to go. My son called me, Dad, what you doing? I said, nothing. I'm ready to get back on the highway. He started laughing. It's like, home is gonna always be home, but you need to get out and try something different. You need to get out and, and, and try different adventures. It's like, it's so much to do here. Even though I find myself sitting at home more than anything, but it's like, I enjoy being at home. You know, I'm really relaxed. I got a lot of peace. Like, Indiana, when I live in Indiana, like, you just never know what's gonna come out your past and then try to bite you. So, when I do go back home, I do stop and visit people. As I always say, I see the people that I need to see. And then like a thief in the night, I'm in and out just like that. I do not stick around. I do not. Mm -mm. Again, we got people talking about the same exact stuff that happened yesterday, last year. Same thing, nothing changes. Only thing that changed was me because I made a change to get myself out of the equation. I remember, like, before I moved out here, I had a small bedroom apartment. It was a studio, 541 square feet. For you guys who don't know how big 541 square feet is, hmm, what can I use for example? Hmm, okay. You guys have seen my kitchen, right? Matter of fact, I'm just gonna show you real quick. You guys have seen my kitchen. This is probably 541 square feet. Now, imagine, imagine your whole entire crib being 541 square feet. You have no room to move, no room to do anything. Now, I had the apartment laid out. I had nothing off of the lay because I was a bachelor crib. You know, I was a single man, you know, but you couldn't do anything. I stayed in the apartment for like two and a half, almost three years. And you know how many times I had visitors actually come to the apartment to visit me the whole time I was there? Probably five times because they always wanted me to come visit them. So then when I moved out here, it's like everybody wanna talk now. It's like, dang, what was the energy at when I was there? You know, so it's like I'm glad that I just took that leap of faith to just move out here, man. You know, like I said, I done had some some bumpy roads since I've been out here. Uh, some for the good, some for the bad. But for now, I think I made the right choice. Do I have any regrets about moving out here? Absolutely not. Just one small regret. I regret that I didn't do this sooner. I should have moved out here three, four years ago instead of waiting until I got as old, I, as, old as I am to move out here. Because there's so many opportunities, man. There's opportunities everywhere you go. 
but you have, it seems like to me that you have better opportunities when you move to a different state, you know, because it's like you can start all over, you can get away from your past, of uh, things that you might have did or said, you know, there there is just so much opportunity, man, to just get away from all that crazy stuff. Unless you're on social media. You'll never get away from crazy stuff if you're on social media, because it's gonna follow you. And that's just part of the package. That's part of the package deal. Mmm. I was gonna be able to eat these last two. I done got full. So these are some of the things I like to do while I'm in Texas. I'm gonna tell you some of my favorite stores I love going to. First, one of my favorite stores I like going to is Ross. They have a store here in Texas. It's called Ross, um, Ross Shop for Less. I buy expensive shoes, but I don't buy expensive clothes. There's a reason for that but I'll tell you guys about that in another video. But Ross is one of like the best stores I've been in because it reminds me of the store back home. We got, it's called City Trends. And I just found out recently that there's a City Trends right here in Texas. But the City Trends here I went to was not nothing like it was in Indiana. The one in Indiana was actually better, a lot better. Um, now, another one of the uh, stores that I do go to down here. Oh, I just found out recently that there's a Burlington here too. Now, I have not been inside a Burlington in Texas yet, but I do plan to make a trip there one day. One of the, one of my favorite grocery stores to shop at, actually, to be honest with you, one of the only stores I shop at down here is HEB. I remember when I first moved here, I went to HEB to buy a New York strip steak and they had New York strip steak for like two or three dollars for a whole New York strip steak. I'm like, excuse me, I thought I was seeing things. I'm like, wait a minute now, you can buy a New York strip steak that cheap? But, so I basically found that my home. So now HEB is one of the stores that I go to probably several times a week. Um, it's just, when you get used to certain things that make you comfortable, you start going to those areas. So I found the park that I like going to. It's really comfortable. I found the HEB grocery store I like to go to. They have everything you need. And if they don't have what you need, you got Walmart that's literally six blocks away. Literally, you can literally walk to Walmart from HEB. So that's one of the most things I like to do. One of the things that I hate about Texas is the heat. I'm gonna tell y'all something, man. It is so freaking hot down here. Where I'm from, it's hot during the daytime, and at nighttime you can raise your windows up, let that cool air flow in. Down here, the later it gets, the hotter it gets. It's like at nighttime, I step outside to do something, to let the dog out. It's, I mean, it's like so steamy hot, it's unbelievable now. But, a December in Texas beats a cold December in Indiana in time. Hmm. I'm gonna be able to finish these guys. This is way too much taco. I let my butt write a check that my mouth cannot cash. Did I say that right? Anyway, man, I'm not gonna make this video much longer, man. I just wanted to make a quick video for you guys eating these tacos and telling y'all a little bit about, you know, my story and as far as when I moved back to Indiana or, or am I even considering moving back to Indiana? My answer to that question, guys, is absolutely not. I think as close as I'll come to ever moving back to Indiana, is when I just go to visit. Um, like I gotta drop, like I gotta take Gary home in August for school, obviously, if they start school back. 
the school and doesn't start back in August, I probably still end up taking him home because he has e-learning and stuff and he has assignments that he has to do at home. But that's probably gonna be like the closest I come to ever moving back to Indiana. Anyway, man, let me know what you guys think of this video, man. And let me know in the comment section down below what video you want me to do next or what story you want me to talk about. You guys wanna know a little bit more about me. Um, a lot of new subscribers recently joined my channel. As you guys know, I deleted over 300 videos off my channel. So a lot of those videos are gone um, that had like story times with me in them. Um, but, so a lot of the new subscribers don't really know um, all they know is that I'm the Prince family dad, but they don't know much about me too much because I deleted a bunch of old videos. But anyway, um, leave me a comment after this video, man, and give me, let's get this video to 100 likes and I will do another story time for you guys. Until next time, I'm Damien Cryer. I love you guys and I will talk to you in the next video. Peace out.